Welcome to this um, radio video and today we're talking about the 15 meter amateur radio band. 15 meter amateur radio band goes from 21.000 to 21.450 and it's a great band. I personally like the 15 meter band a lot. It's a very popular band. The only moments where it might not be as good sometimes when solar activity is very low. Uh, it does happen that the 15 meter band is difficult for propagation. But most of the time uh, the 15 meter amateur radio band is open during daytime. It typically opens up about an hour before sunrise. Um, you'll hear signals to your east and uh, up to throughout the day with a shifting pattern that you'll see. Uh, here for example Eastern North America uh, mornings up to early afternoons is a great great time for European stations. If uh, This is one of my favorite bands to hear Europe for example. And then as the day progress we have signals that shift more through North America, South America and the Caribbean. And then at late afternoon and to about an hour, an hour and a half after sunset, signals from the west and uh, especially here at this time, we're in the February now, around February, March and um, also in uh, September, October. Uh, one of the best bands to hear J Japan, Australia and uh, the Pacific region around uh, local sunset on uh, Eastern North America. So this band is divided into different areas of course and uh, the first part is CW so on the starts at 21 megahertz we have CW signals there was one <laughs> around 21.070 we tend to have BPSK31 signals, we can hear a few here that are weak. 21076 is the JT65 digital mode frequency. And around 21080 to 21100, radio teletype signals are often heard. From 21100, 21150, we usually have a lot of CW signals also. And I would say above 21170, 180, uh, or 21200, upper sideband signals. Looks very quiet, but I can tell you that this band is one of the very, very popular bands also on amateur radio. But we are in the middle of a uh, geomagnetic storm, so it's a little hard to hear signals. Uh, the upper part of the band, around 21, 390 to uh, 450, some AM stations, uh, amateur radio AM stations, will often be heard also if you don't have SSB capability. <coughs> It's mostly a daytime band during winter. It's uh, a great band for listening to uh, DX, countries you've never heard. Uh, in the summer, in the middle of summer, when sunlight is very, very um, you know, long, the days are long, and especially with high solar activity, uh, I've often noticed this band open almost 24 hours, but it depends a lot on solar activity. If solar activity is low, it tends to uh, drop an hour after sunset. But when solar activity is high in the summer, 
we often have signals on this band um, even uh, throughout the night but uh, think of it as mostly a daytime band most of the time uh, very popular so if you uh, listen in on weekends or uh, you know times when amateur radio stations are more prevalent and often the weekend because a lot of us work during the week um, you'll hear signals that's for sure on this band um, and this is one of my favorite bands actually if I have to tune around if I want to tune um, amateur radio bands for signals in the morning or during the daytime uh, the best bet I'll probably do 15 meters tune around see what I can hear I'll try 10 meters 28 megahertz and see what I can hear and um, if it's not satisfying then I'll go to the 20 meter band and see what there are uh, interesting on 20 meters um, I'm, I, I love listening to amateur radio stations especially because it brings in countries that aren't on shortwave anymore with uh, international broadcasters which is cool so uh, 15 meter amateur radio band give it a try great great band to listen to amateur radio stations around the world Hope you enjoy 73.